YouTube, Dark Maven 1976 here with a video. I know, finally, right? I haven't been done, I I haven't been doing videos in a while because my husband hasn't been working. He has a job where he like works one day a week, and um, it's kind of not fun having him around doing videos because he likes to pull pranks and use his hand ladder for making farty noises. It's it's annoying and. And I didn't think trying to do a video with him around would be fun. Um, this week I'm going to do a props video. And I was going to do a big long video about props, you know, with all of them. Decided to do one prop per video because I can go into more detail about my prop making and uh, how I made the prop and put more love into it, I guess. <laughs> And I know that sounded weird, but anyway, so I got into prop making because trying to find the right props for the costume and buying them can get quite expensive when you can make it for cheap or cheaper, and and you don't have to worry about dropping it or you can make it as strong or as weak as possible so it won't break when you're at a con and I'm pants talking I'm sorry <laughs> at a con or something so that's why I got into prop making I remember the first prop I made I was like 10 I think and that was She-Ra Princess of Power for Halloween and my cousin was He-Man and Basically, the costume was a plastic mask with an elastic around and a garbage bag with the um, the clothes printed on it. It was, it was fun. And um, it did not come with a sword, and either my parents didn't want to buy the sword because it was too much money, which I can understand completely, or, um, or it didn't, they didn't make it. <laughs> so what we decided to do was take a bunch of cardboard, trace it out, and cut it out, and color it. It was a disaster, but it was ours, and I don't know what happened to it. I think it got lost somewhere years later, or uh, on Halloween. <laughs> I don't remember coming home with it. I think I just dished it somewhere. <laughs> anyway, so this first prop is the True Blood bottle from the... Um, TV show True Blood. I was going to be Suki Stackhouse for Halloween because at work, because you can't be gross, so you can't have, um, can't be too scary, can't be bloody or too sexy. So, <laughs> what better way than to uh, be none of those things than to be Suki Stackhouse as the waitress? I bought this shirt that's just more lots. I had the apron and I had a squirt or yeah, because she had a skirt, had a skirt, so it wouldn't be too. I don't like wearing dresses too much. <laughs> so, and of course, the True Blood bottle, which I do have a real one here. I bought the real one. It's made of glass, as you can see, and it has the True Blood logo. And I thought, you know, this would be kind of heavy to carry around all night at work. And and I'm a total klutz. Yeah, I know. I'm a total klutz. So I had visions of me dropping this bottle and breaking it. This bottle had um, blood orange soda, which kind of sucked. I drank it, drank it just because I wanted to taste it. It was not tasty. And bleh. but but I kept the bottle, and I'm like, maybe I can make it. So I went to YouTube and to find uh, tutorials, and most of the tutorials were about party, you know, if you're having a true blood party for Halloween, you can make it with um, a Sobe bottle and uh, booze, and I didn't want booze in mine because I was taking it to work, and that's a no-no, no drinking on the job. So what I did was I figured out I'll buy a Sobe bottle drink it all, buy some red paint. Online I found the uh, the labels for the True Blood and just taped it up. This is, 
it was officially my first prop, according to my husband. But it didn't turn out too bad, but it didn't not turn out too great either. I, I covered up the Sobe logo with the True Blood symbols at the top. As you can see on this one, they didn't have the True Blood symbols on the top. And I um, cut out the logo for the bottle and just taped the crap out of it. I painted the ins I put in like red uh, paint on the inside, but the paint I got was like fire engine dark red. And I wanted to brighten it up, so I put like uh, what do you call that? A uh, white paint into it. My brain. I'm sorry. My brain. My brain's not functioning this morning. Because I had to be at, have to be at work at like 1 p.m. Got up too early. I got a headache. But I'm doing this video. <laughs> anyway, so I carried this around with me in my pocket, along with a uh, a uh, a pad to write down like you know orders because she's a waitress at at Merlot's bar and grill. And only one guy, one guy knew who I was through the whole thing, because I had the most horrendous wig. This wig was horrible. It was blonde but white, so I looked like an old lady. So I looked like a really old, even with makeup, light makeup I put on, I looked like a really old uh, waitress, and nobody got who I was, because I guess nobody at my job watches True Blood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they thought I was some old waitress or something. So, yeah, um, I think this prop worked out really well. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't as big as a pain in the butt as I thought it'd be, and it was really fun making it. Most props, most of the props I made, I've had a little bit of trouble with just to get down how to make it and figure out what to do with it. And this was pretty fun. I I. <laughs> I kept this bottle just in case I want to be sticky stack house again later, but I will buy a better wig. Never buy your wigs from Party City if you're doing God's play because their wigs are like, well, it's Halloween wigs, so it's, they tangle really easily. So, that's my video for today, and I hope you liked it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and all of that stuff. If you like to see more props videos, or, well, I'm going to do more props videos anyway, or comment on what would you like to see me, like, review, or stuff like that. I'm trying to get to the CureCon this year. Maybe it won't happen. Maybe it will. I don't know. It's circumstances with money and stuff like that. <laughs> It may not happen this year. Um, until next time, maybe I'll do a vlog video on my experience at the CureCon. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe if I go. So, rate, comment, subscribe. And until next time, cosplay safe. Bye.